So you're thinking about moving to the Knoxville, Tennessee area, but you're not quite sure if this is the right fit. Well, in this video, we are gonna talk pros and cons of the Knoxville area. So stick around and let's get right to it. All right, so Knoxville, Tennessee, pros and cons. The first thing I wanna tell you is that for some people this is a con, and some people find it as a large surprise. We do have mountains here. Wow! I can't tell you the number of people that are shocked that we have mountains, so if you want flat land, flat Texas, middle of the United States land, you're not going to get that here. Now there may be the occasional flat yard, but for the most part, this is not flat here. So for some that's a major con and other people they love the mountains. So you just have to know yourself. But I just wanna preface that by saying if you have to have flat land, this probably ain't the place for you. Okay, okay. So that's one pro con, I don't know. When it comes to pros, something that I think is an awesome pro about Knoxville is its proximity to really cool places. So about two and a half hours from Nashville, we're super close to Asheville, North Carolina, we're close to Atlanta, and you're not that far from like the Carolina coast. So those are major, major positives. And even if you wanna go up north, Ohio, Virginia, et cetera, whichever way you wanna go, because of how we are kind of the in between of I-40 and I-75, you can pretty much drive anywhere you want to. So that is a definite pro. Now, when it comes to cons, I will say that Knoxville is super spread out. So it could take you an hour to get from one end of Knoxville to the other. And so if you are thinking like this is a little quaint town, a little Tennessee town, that is not what Knoxville is. And that leads me to the fact that Knoxville is not walkable. So if you're wanting a town where you can walk to the grocery store and you can walk to school and you can walk to work, this is not going to do the trick. Now, some people do ride their bikes, However, that brings me to another con. I don't think Knoxville is very progressive when it comes to people riding their bikes. Ow, ow, ow. So I don't think that's a good idea. However, people do it every day, okay? So it's just not necessarily like walk and biker friendly in terms of commuting. Now there are small pockets within Knoxville where yes, you can walk to things. Farragut has a whole greenway of walk spaces that connect neighborhoods, but that's not the norm. And probably Bearden, you can walk to your house, you could walk to the Mexican restaurant, you can walk to the cycle bar. But overall, when it comes that right down to it, Knoxville is not a walkable city. Downtown, I mean, you can walk because you're downtown, but it's not like you're gonna walk home um, to you know, the suburbs or whatever. So that's definitely a con. So although it's a little bit spread out, something that's really cool about Knoxville is we have a awesome SEC sports scene because of the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. Go Vols, Rocky Top, what, what, what. So obviously we've got football. Go Lady Vols basketball, Lady Vols softball, men's baseball, men's basketball, rowing. I mean, we have all these sports. I don't wanna leave anyone out, but I do wanna say that the, the sports scene here is something that you could enjoy year round. And we have some people that are diehard basketball fans and they don't care about football. And we have other people who they are diehard football fans and they don't necessarily care about baseball, basketball, etc. But I'm just saying you have plenty of stuff to do when it comes to tailgating. You could probably tailgate year round in this town and that's pretty cool. And it kind of is a way to bring everyone together. I think that there's a lot of like people get unified over sports. And so that's kind of cool because it's just a fun thing to do in the fall, especially football tailgating, but even the basketball games are so much fun. The baseball games, again, so much fun. So really cool stuff when it comes to sports, definitely a sports town. So while we don't have the NFL here, that's in Nashville, we do have some really cool um, college sports scene and stuff to do. So that's a definite pro. Although some people would tell you that's a con because they don't like sports, which, I get that. Speaking of confusing, is this a pro or a con? The weather here is pretty mild. Now we do get warm summers, we do have humidity for sure, but overall we have super mild weather. In the winters, we have little to no snow because we are down in the valley. So we don't get a ton of snow 
obviously the closer the mountains you get, the more snow you're gonna have. But overall, this is not a place where you're gonna see inches on inches on inches of snow. And in fact, when it snows here, like even just an inch, the whole town shuts down. Schools, school is out for the summer, like it's done, it's over. So if you love snow, this is not the place for you. If you do not want snow, welcome. We will gladly take you. I mean, we'll take you either way. I'm just saying that, you know what I mean? Like there's not a lot of snow. So if you want that, this ain't for you, honey. Now let's talk about outdoors. Now I mentioned at the beginning of this video that it's not flat here because we are so close to the mountain, which means the mountain, the mountains, the Smoky Mountains, which means we have a ton of outdoor activities, biking, hiking, running, walking, boating. We have so many lakes. We actually have nine lakes. Tennessee River runs right through. So we have tons of outdoor activities and cool stuff to do. So if you're an outdoors person, this is a great place for you to be because like I said, we have pretty much options outside for everyone um, from hiking, biking, boating, any kind of boating, kayaking, paddle boarding, canoeing, you name it, we have all of that. And it's pretty cool because you really have no excuse to not have something to do. In the fall, you've got football. In the spring, you go outside. In the summer, sit in the air conditioning. I'm just kidding. No, you get outside too. But overall, I will say that a pro of Knoxville is we have tons and tons and tons of outdoor activities. And some really awesome parks and places to hang out outside. So that is definitely a huge draw for Knoxville. Now, let's talk shopping. This is an area of which I think Knoxville has a lot of room to grow. This to me is a con. We don't have a ton of like cool places to shop. I mean, we've got Target, we've got Trader Joe's, we have a Whole Foods, we have a Costco, but it's not like there's, you know, super cool. There are a couple boutiques in Bearden that are cool. And then there's one in Powell called Josie's, which is kind of, you know, the kind of boutique. But overall, this is not like a shopping scene. It's not high fashion. It's not like you're gonna come here and like, you know, dress to impress or maybe dry buy to dress to impress. Like there's not, it's not a shopping scene and it's also not the best food scene. So there's now that is changing it is shifting. We do have like some food markets coming in. We have Marble city market that's come in. So, and some just kind of cool restaurants, but Overall, when I think Knoxville, I think primarily chain restaurants, which is to me is a huge bummer. But like I said, this is shifting a little, but I won't, I don't want to tell you that we have a very diverse food scene here with all kinds of choices and options because we just don't. And that is definitely an area for growth for sure. And this con goes out to my friends out in California who make fun of Tennessee. I have so many friends who have said like, oh, we've thought about going to Tennessee, but there's too many bugs there. Yes, we do have bugs here. We have mosquitoes, we have cicadas, we have all kinds of bugs. So if you are not a bug person and you can't handle it, this ain't the place for you, okay? But I'm used to it. I grew up here, so to me, it's just, it is what it is. But obviously, if you've grown up in a place where there aren't bugs, then kudos to you, my friend. Now, let's get into a really huge pro of the Knoxville area. It's called Dollywood and I jokingly kind of say this but I also seriously kind of say this because I've had people Relocate to this area specifically because of Dollywood and their main question about where they choose to live is how far is that house? From Dollywood. This is a true story I was at a showing and the people are like so how far is Dollywood and I was like it's about 45 minutes and they're like mm, It's too far can't do it. So they wanted to be closer So we do have a cool kind of touristy scene by way of Gallenberg Pigeon Forge and for some people that is a con For me, it's a pro because it's an option of something to do But what's convenient about it is you don't have to live right in it You can be close to it and you have it there when you want to you can go to Dollywood at any point or not It's a super cool place we also have a lot of moonshine tastings and that is new. That is like super new. So that's kind of cool too. Um, there's, it's like you're a tourist in your own city, but you can also avoid that traffic. You just gotta be strategic about it. So some people would say that it's a con that we have Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge as an example, but to me, it's a major pro because it's just something else to do, get out and explore. So to me, that's a pro. All right, so those are some of my pros and cons for the Knoxville, Tennessee area and Knoxville, Tennessee in general. If you have questions, give me a call, give me a text. We would love to talk with you and help you decide if Knoxville is the best place for you. I will see you on the next video.